Hello ladies and gentlemen, Max here. Today we're gonna to talk about a fragrance brand that I've been a fan for the longest time, ever since the original inception in 2014 of Brioni Ferman EDT. Today, of course, we're talking about the newest fragrance from the line, Brioni Ferman Owen Tons Parfum. Guys, if you like unique and sensual scents, stick around, you're in for a treat. Welcome back to another fragrance video. I'm Max Forte. If you love to make a great first impression, you are at the right spot. Today, of course, we're gonna cover the newest from Brioni, Brioni for Man Owen Tons Parfum, which is a flanker from a 2020 release or slash 2021 Brioni, the blue bottle, which is just Brioni for Man. Um, basically an aquatic fragrance that's very floral and woody in the base, reminiscent of two great fragrances. If you put together Aqua Fahrenheit with Bleecker Street from Bun Number no. 9, this is what you would get with this fragrance. Great stuff, good for day wear, office wear, something that you don't have to think too much, you know you're gonna smell great. The original was blue with golden embellishments in the box. The new one is black with gold embellishments, quite nice. As we all know, Brioni is a luxurious, you know, tailor brand, makes great garments for men. And Brioni for Men Owen Tons Parfum is a black bottle, looks great, just like the original, except for now it's black with the gold appointments. Great sprays on these. Now the difference here, you're gonna experience it from the get-go. As soon as you spray the fragrance, if you compare it side by side with the original, as I would think, you know, with flankers, a flanker should be something that's reminiscent of the original with some minor changes, perhaps darker, a little more resinous, maybe sweeter. This one here, it departs from the original, meaning it's a lot darker. The original is blue, kind of an aquatic, exotic, very uplifting, very bright scent. This one here is a little bit of the opposite. In the other end of the spectrum, it's going to be darker, it's gonna be more resinous. A little bit of sweet fruitiness that you get with the original is also present here with the apple. However, this is a lot more uh, stronger, more powerful, more resinous and dark scent as the bottle would suggest. When it comes to retail or discount websites, the original, the blue, the four man, the original Eau de Parfum from last year, you can actually find that discount websites around $80. It retails for 120. The new EDP or Parfum Intense retails for 135 and it's kind of newish to this market. So you can't really find it, you know, discounted. I'm gonna have both listed below with the best possible price, deals, discounts, whatever we have available in the world of fragrances here in the US. Of course, making your life easier, which is what we do here on the channel. Comparison here, side by side note between the two, just to let you guys know exactly what's going on here. The original blue, it's going to be an exotic, aquatic, fruity. There's violet leaf in here. Like I said, very similar to Aqua Fahrenheit slash, you know, Bond Number no. 9, Bleecker Street. So it's gonna be fruity, exotic, a little bit woody in the base, very inviting, easy to wear. However, this one here, in the account of darker notes, it's gonna be a more intense, as the name would suggest, Eau Intense Parfum or Parfum Intense. It's going to be darker, it's gonna be more resinous. It has a note of oud here that you don't find in the original as well as vanilla. The original, you have a little bit of a Tonka vibe uh, in the base, which adds sweetness to it. This is a lot darker. Like I said, you have vetiver, you have patchouli, you have oud. You have a lot of darker and denser notes that you do not have with the original composition, making this a little bit more elegant and sophisticated in my opinion. Also, I detect a little bit of a roasted coconut or toasted coconut vibe with a little bit of a creamy fig sandalwood in the base, which also makes this stand out in the crowd. It's gonna be a great oud composition. I think definitely worth checking out. As I said before, I love Brioni ever since the original in 2014. I think they do a tremendous job. Thus far, they have not you know, jumped into the wagon of flankers every year. We'll see what happens now You know, in, in a year and a half-ish. They released two fragrances, Brioni for Man, Brioni for Man, Owen So who knows if they're gonna jump into this bandwagon of flankers. Yet to be seen. But so far, I have to say, they are quality and great smelling scents. When it comes to performance, the original for Man, the blue bottle, gave me about one and a half hour projection and about six to eight longevity, as this one here does about two to three projection and it lasts between eight to 10 hours longevity, which is quite nice. So I always give you guys a reference point of a fragrance that it reminds me of, so you guys can kind of understand if you're going in blind, you're not gonna just not know exactly what you're getting into. So the original blue, where you told you guys, Acro Fahrenheit meets Bleecker Street Bond number nine. This one here, guys, it's going to be kind of like Boss Bottle, Ugo Boss, Boss Bottle. I'll pop it up here so you guys know what, what I'm talking about. Meets a little bit of a latent exclusive vibe with that dark and animalistic oud, minus the cardamom. This one does not have cardamom and the spices that it has. So it's going to be a creamy, woody oud scent 
It's a little bit spicy, but not as spicy as Leighton Exclusive, for example. But very appealing, very attractive, even sensual, if I may say. I think this is great for more of an evening wear. I think you could definitely pull this off all year round if you're looking for a signature scent that contains oud. If you're getting into the, the world of oud fragrances that are not too expensive, like, like I said, this is going to retail for $135, and soon you'll be able to find this at discounters. So I think it's a great way, great segue into the oud fragrances without breaking the bank. And of course, quality, elegance, attractiveness, you name it, this has it. Overall assessment, guys, or final thoughts on Brioni Owen Tons Parfum. I think it's a really good release. It's a solid fragrance. I'd give this a seven out of 10, which when I give a fragrance seven out of 10, I think it's a very good scent. I think, you know, anything below a seven is below average. Seven and above, I think it's good. Seven and a half, it's very good. Eight is outstanding. Nine would be excellent. 10 is a masterpiece. So this is a very good to good release. I think it's like I said, if you're getting into Oud, it's definitely worth checking out. If you just like unique, elegant scents, it's a great fragrance to check out. Check out, you should. I think all the fragrances that I talk about here on the channel, new releases, thousands to choose from, indie, niche, designer, you name it, check out perfume.com. Use my code, I'll have it all linked below to make your life easier. Not only where you can find the fragrances, but where you can try them before you buy them, guys. Check it out, enjoy, and also let me know in the comments what fragrance have you discovered so far in 2022 that really grabbed your attention. Are you guys looking forward to trying this? Let me also know what your thoughts on Brioni and other fragrance brands that I should check out that I haven't yet featured here on the channel. As always, guys, remember, fragrance is an extension of who you are. It's emotion in motion. So be sure to wear your fragrances well. I'll see you guys right back here with another video very soon. Take care.